Hi, welcome to Artie Crafty Alchemy. Today I am going to be making some Valentine's Day cards with some various collections. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist, let's get started. I have done most of the prep for these cards already just to make it easier for me to film this video and easier for me to edit. These first two I've made with Taddy Teddies, the Me To You collection. Oh, I just want to pull out a piece of paper just to show you. I had to get some Valentine's Day cards in the cottage already, so there is a piece that I've already used and I'm just trying to find it. Back this piece of paper onto some cardstock and then cut out some panels. And I've used these two on cards already. This This one I will probably make a birthday card and this one probably a thank you card as I've sold quite a few of both at the store lately. I had this one to make a Valentine's Day card and then I had these two as well that I was going to use. This one I would probably turn into a congrats card but I will put them aside and keep them for later. I have already trimmed them down to be card front size. Just so I could use those strips if I wanted to. This card I've just trimmed down the panel with our Taddy Teddy holding the heart. I made it so that the Teddy that was on one corner of the page ended up centered on the panel. I'm going to try and center this as best I can. I'm trying out these glue bottles I got off Craft Online. I don't actually like the glue I have in this one currently. It's a little stringy, a little too thick. I'm just doing all the big pieces first and then I'll go and add some smaller dots. And I'm going to add the top layer of this die on. I'm sorry, I'm not sure whose die this is, whether it's another one that I got from England or where it actually came from, who's, what company. It, I don't have its packaging anymore. It could have come off the front of a magazine. Kat's decided she's being involved today. One good thing about this glue is it does have a small amount of open time so I can try and line all these up. And while that's drying I'll add on my paper strips for the sides. I'm going to trim off the excess with my Tim Holtz paper trimmer. And I'm going to glue on the word love. I'm going to stick that block on there and put that aside for a minute. Kat's decided to say hello, but she's in the way, of course. And this one is a quick, simple one. I've just cut out the teddy bear picnic and I've used my Kodamaru corner rounder on the corners to give big rounded edges. And then I'm going to take the Kodamaru punch and round the card edges as well. Again, I have a triple stacked love die. And I'll swap that over onto there. For this card, this is a background. I'm not sure if it's a recent one or one I made years and years and years ago. I have used one set of the Paper Roses stitched rectangle dies to cut my panel. And I haven't taped it, of course, because that would be too easy. I have taken to adding tape down the long sides of my panels now. I used to do the short sides, but I found that they would buckle up a little along the edges so if I do the long sides that doesn't happen. This time I've done three layers of the white. On the love I only did two. That was me being lazy actually. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered cutting two more layers. So for this one I cut the three layers just to give it some added dimension especially seeing as this is the focal point one is nice and easy to stack together. After all that, I think I've just stuck that on upside down. That is not the way I wanted this to be, but anyway. Maybe I will glue it like that instead. Add the block onto that one. This next card I've used the Science of Love Lawn Fawn stamp set. The next three cards are all Lawn Fawn. Love Die is from the works in the UK from when I visited over there. Kind of wishing I'd bought some more of their dies. They come in handy. I am going to stamp the inside of this first just because if I mess it up then I need to grab another card base. I have the In My Book. I'm going to use my stamp chamois to clean the stamp and I need to grab a pen. 
I'm going to grab the Happy 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 stamp sets and I'm going to grab Happy Valentine's Day. I only just got this one. Had a $10 voucher on eBay so I decided to use it. I thought I had these sentiments but I didn't so I thought they would come in handy so I would grab them. Got a little scrap in here. I'm going to try this and see if it's straight. Straight enough. I have the little book. Now that that's okay, I can add the rest. I'm just going to put a little tape behind the book. I probably could have stamped that just a little bit lower. The paper for this card is this leaf pattern from the Fall Fling Lawn Fawn paper pad. The paper was cut out with one of the stitched rectangles from Paper Rose. The deckled edge panel is from Spellbinders. Just have some foam. I'm actually going to remember to do this bit. I had this little extra strip of leaf. I thought I would add it down the bottom. Just trim off the excess. I have pre-coloured these with Copics and Pro Markers. For these ones, I'm going to raise up the flasks. Now I've worked out my placement, I'm going to add my bird down. I'm going to glue this one on because it's so skinny. I need to look up how to colour toxic green. I threw so many colours at this little flask, it's not funny. I'm going to put that one aside for a minute and start working on the next one. This one uses Love Bug and the paper is from Made With Love by Kaisercraft. This is a really old collection. I've stamped Be My Love Bug. These little hearts are one of the pieces from the die cuts. This one here, I've just cut out the bits that I need so that I can use the other pieces at a later date. You need a red ink. Oh, I already have tape on the back of this. I'm just using this ruler. Oops, that's the wrong side. I'm just using this ruler to center it as best I can. And then I'll do the same on this side. Now that has a little edge, I am going to add some foam tape to these. Before I do that, I'm going to need to find the ink pad. So again, I'm going to put that aside for a second because I need to find a few things to finish off all these cards and I will do them all at the same time. Now this card, I actually did more than I planned to. I have my card base and I've used this MFT radiating half tone stamp to do my background. I took the weathered wood distress ink and I rubbed it over the stamp instead of dabbing. It gave a uh, better coverage. The stitched oval is a paper rose die. I'm going to add glue, add that onto my scalloped oval. Not sure what brand they are, they were just in my stash. The elephant and the Love You Tons are from the Lawn Fawn Love You Tons stamp set. I'm going to add another piece of foam to the back of the elephants. This die is the Fancy Tags 3 from Spellbinders. And then I just cut a half inch piece of cardstock to put the sentiment on and I'm raising that up. I'm just going to add glue to the back of this. And then while that is drying I'll add glue to the back of the Love You Tons and add the little banner on top. I used the small side of the Coda Maru punch to round the corners. I'm going to add glue to the back of this one and leave that to dry. And then I'll go and collect. I need a red ink pad. I need another panel of this, which I thought I had two, but who knows. And I need a sparkle pen. So I'll be back. I'm going to add one of these panels to the back of this deckled rectangle and then I'm going to add this on and try and center it. 
and let that dry. Now I have some Vermilion Archival ink. And I had an itty bitty heart that I was going to stamp and who knows where I've hidden it. There it is. I have my itty bitty heart and I want to work out where my two love bugs are going to go. And then I'm just going to ink up my heart. Add the square panel on the back of this one. Add some glue to the foam. I'm going to stick this down first. Okay, there's the love bug card. Love you tons is finished. We have great chemistry is finished. I will add some gems around that. I was looking for my gold sparkle pen, but I don't know where it is. So I'm going to try scrapbook.com sparkle pen. Sparkle helps the words and the hearts stand out from the background a bit better. For this one, I'm going to add the sparkle. Whoa, that's very wet. Just adding it to the ribbon. A little more sparkle than I bargained for. So now the ribbon is all sparkly. And on this one, just going to add a little bit of sparkle to the flower and to the bear's noses. A little bit of subtle shimmer. I'll add some shimmer to the oceans as well. There we have six Valentine's Day cards. I case my stash. I didn't use everything I pulled out. I pulled out a ton of stuff, but I haven't had time to make that much stuff. So these are my six Valentine's Day cards. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to see new content like this, and hit the bell notification to know when new videos come out. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.